I don't know who needs to be told this, but just keep your head above water. Your story is going to get so much better soon. Hey girl. Hello, my beautiful Virgo. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly you versus Zen reading between you and your person, Virgo. Now, I also do your weekly general reading for your zodiac sign, Virgo, which I'll leave a link to over here for you to check out at a later point if you would like. But when it comes to any of my readings, Virgo, be sure to rely on your intuition because part of your perspective, if the man reading some tarot cards to you, you know your situation better than I ever possibly could know. So take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever, Virgo, I promise you. If you find some cards that resonate with you, though, be sure to let me know in the comments below which card called out to you the most, Virgo, because that's how I keep up with y'all, just in the comments. And then also, I would really appreciate it for you to give me a like and subscribe, Virgo, if you do resonate with this reading, because it does help out my channel a lot. And I always am super appreciative of it when you guys take the time to do that for me, Virgo. And then finally, this reading here is just to give you some perspective, Virgo, something for you to consider as you go throughout your week, some food for thought, something for you to consider as you just connect with this person, right? I'm not here to make a decision in your life or tell you how to live your life because ultimately it's your life to live, not mine. So uh, with all that being said, Virgo, let's get into this reading with the general energies of things for this week. We have the your full moon in Virgo, Virgo, which would be you are good enough. So I almost feel inclined to just give, I won't do it too much, Virgo, but I do feel like I need to give you a little bit of a pep talk because it seems like some of you guys might be taking this connection a little bit hard um, in the sense of, or maybe not taking this connection hard, um, but you're not viewing yourself in the kindest light right now, right? You could be having a wonderful connection with this person and you there's just like some self-doubt going on here. When you have this you are good enough card coming in, Virgo, it lets me, it has me tilt my head of being like, well, what's going on here? Why do you need this reminder in the first place, right? Is it because, like, do you feel like you're out of your element? If you are, are you out of your league, right? Let's have a conversation about that at some point, Virgo, of figuring out why you might not have the best perception of yourself, right? And it's presumptuous to me. Maybe you do have a wonderful high self-esteem and a wonderful opinion of yourself. And, you know, maybe that card just comes in as an affirmation, letting you know that you are that one, right? Nothing wrong with that at all. Um, but we have for the two tarot cards as the energies with you two, as well as the three of cups in the world card. So changes are happening. I feel like you just are in this place of dealing with a lot of changes. So maybe perhaps, Virgo, you just are like on a high edge already anyways, right? With just energies around you, right? Probably it just feels like more than just this connection even. Um, this one connection that we're honing in on for this reading, Virgo, that is just shifting. Like maybe you have a lot of dynamics that are just shifting. Maybe you're in a group dynamic and things are just shifting and it just leaves you feeling unsteady it leaves you feeling a little bit unsure of yourself perhaps a little bit insecure about yourself or just like what's going on and if you're able to even handle it perhaps is what i'm getting Virgo. maybe this is just a sense of where um because there's just so much going on and everything's just so up in the air right now there's just like this unsureness but the two cards that came out that tried to come out virgo were the ten of wands and the temperance card so the temperance card is the talking about bringing emotions into balance right so definitely virgo what i would suggest is trying to connect with water in some type of way if you can go to like a lake or a river or an ocean that's lovely but i'm aware not everyone can do that uh, perhaps if you can, just even finding like some ambient videos that are just of some rivers or even just taking a bath or just something to be able to just disconnect and to really find a way to um, cleanse yourself, I guess, right? You don't even need water to cleanse yourself, right? That's just a suggestion that I had. But the temperance card also represents patience. Uh, Virgo. For some reason, I feel like I called you Capricorn earlier. If I did, I apologize, Virgo. But with this Ten of Wands, it just feels like, yeah, you are dealing with a heavy load right now. You're just, like, exhausted, probably. And because of this, you're just, like, maybe it's not just, like, yourself that you have, like, this view of the world. Uh, view of where it's just, like, uh, 
right? Maybe it's just in general where you, Virgo, are just are just tired and drained. So it's interesting. You just it does feel like you're just dealing with a lot. Justice card does want to pop out as well. So there is just this push, Virgo, to bring things into balance, to balance yourself out, get yourself feeling steady, uh, Virgo. I know you might be dealing with a lot of changes. You definitely are, for sure, because you have the world card coming in on your side, Virgo. Now, let me explain. I pulled a card for you, pulled a card for them, pulled a card for the energy between y'all two, Virgo. And we're going to pull clarifiers as we see necessary. But yeah, I just see a lot of shifts happening in your life right now. A lot of just unsteadiness, Virgo, going on in your life. And so because of that, you're just like, you're just trying to brace, brace yourself. You're just in this sense of just like having like white knuckles even, just trying to keep afloat. Uh, maybe some of you guys feel like you're drowning in a sense, right? On their side of things, they have the page of cups coming in here. So this person is coming in with an offer. This person is coming in for all the earth signs. There's a lot of pursuing, like all the earth signs are getting pursued in different ways. And Page of Cups comes in of where on their side of things, uh, Virgo, they are coming at you with a more tender approach, with more tender heart, um, offering their cup, offering a deepening of emotion. Um, right? Because even just the representation of the Page of Cups talks about deepening of emotions or a new person coming into your life, right? Obviously, since we're thinking about a person already in mind, uh, Virgo, then it's probably a deepening or something. And then the energy between y'all two, Virgo, is the Four of Pentacles. So it makes sense, especially when you have that Temperance card of Patience. This is just waiting it out, waiting to put in your good investments somewhere in regards to this connection perhaps um so let's see let's get on your side of things virgo see what's going on with you um with that world card first card comes flying out we have the knight of pentacles uh this is definitely a push for you uh virgo to take a risk i know i keep saying that probably but it is a push like the knight of pentacles is like in essence a card of like getting out of your comfort zone um, exploring uncharted territories, uh, really just, yeah, just getting out of your comfort zone, in essence. The Knight of Pentacles does represent communication as well, so maybe getting out of your comfort zone and reaching out to this person as well, if you're open to that, Cap or almost called you Capricorn again, Virgo, but I do feel like a lot of you guys are not wanting to do that, you're resistance toward, resistant towards that with the Seven of Wands, you feel like you can only rely on yourself, you, I don't know if it's I don't know if it's just you don't trust this person necessarily, Capricorn, but maybe you just have an issue in general just opening up to people. And maybe you just have issues receiving help from other people because you feel as if you can't rely on people, right? Or anytime that you tried to rely on people in the past, you were just disappointed or you ended up having to regret it because it was used against you later. Death card. Yeah, I feel like you're just trying to do away with that seven of wands with this old way of thinking of or just like any energy that's reminiscent of that aware makes you feel like it's you against the world and you're ready to have some type of companionship companionship you're ready for to feel like you have people on your side fighting with you rather than against you making things harder for you is what i'm getting capricorn because here's the thing i keep on like for your energy i feel like you're just in this constant struggle right and i do feel like you there is this sense uh, Virgo, that you do need to ask for some help. You do need to um, allow people in um, and not allow what's happened in the past to stop anything in the future um, and in you now uh, from coming in, right? You have the strength card coming in, a lot of major arcana for you. You're just really going through it right now. <laughs> Uh, Virgo, I feel it. I'm like, even it's connecting with your energy, there's like this heaviness that I'm feeling. So it's just like, I sympathize with you greatly, Virgo, and I'm so sorry. Um, with a strength card, yeah, shadow work card, I always say. This is a card of where you really have to dive, dive deep in with yourself, have enough strength that you can hold up a tarot card. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I feel like this is just a really trying time. I feel like for a lot of you Virgos, I just keep on hearing like, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired. And I get it, Virgo, I completely get it. Um, High Priestess, a lot of just guarded energy. Um, 
the high priestess does talk about listening to your intuition i do feel like you kind of already are in tune to your intuition virgo so dare i say though just a suggestion friendly suggestion from on tv um to see how what your intuition tells you after you do some cleansing right remember what i was talking about with uh, doing some type of cleansing around water right and you should just get that sense of i feel like once you get some grounding once you cleanse a little bit then like you might have a clearer vision of things and a better point of view and how you want to handle things um just a hunch let's pull on their cards on their side now oh, actually let's do a necronomicon we have the four of discs yeah you're just this is you you you're pa you're painting out your time you're really not sure like you don't want to make the wrong investment virgo and so i think that's like your biggest fear is making the wrong investment in the wrong person and wasting your time that's probably what your issue is but let's pull some clarifiers for their page of cups uh virgo see what's up with them we have the eight of wands that flew out for them back of the deck energy is the fool card <laughs> i just all the earth signs are really being pursued they're being viewed as really desirable this week a lot of the signs are just realizing um that they want to pursue their earth sign mm -hmm. so the fool card comes in for them as the back of the deck energy with the eight of wands this is definitely someone who just recognizes what makes them feel good and really going after it and grabbing at it uh, I just called you Capricorn. I apologize, Virgo. Um, yeah, this is just a person who's really going after what it is that makes them feel good. And it makes sense why with this Page of Cups as well. Like, this is someone that's definitely, like, um, doe-eyed for you, Virgo. This is definitely someone that really wants to do something with you, wants to connect with you in some type of capacity, Virgo. Ten of Cups. I mean, come on. They want to have that family life with you. They really want to have the bigger picture with you. They really do associate their emotional fulfillment, their happiness with you, Virgo. It's such a beautiful energy, but it's just like, I can't help but feel like there is like a hesitation on your side. There is this thing of where it's just like, even maybe you yourself can identify it. Maybe they themselves are actively already expressing it, Virgo. But there is just like that hesitation because it's just like you don't want to give out your four pentacles to them quite yet. You want to make that commitment. Ace of Swords. Yeah, this is all this their entire setup. Um, their entire setup, Virgo, is just set up in such a way where they're going pursuing you. Ace of Swords does let me know that they're com probably going to come at you in a different approach. They definitely do have like new ways of thinking. Um, so this does let me believe that they've grown if they have like they've just matured with their uh, uh, with their mental I see them having like a better perspective on things or being able to see it from other perspectives right this is someone that's very um, actively like holding themselves accountable in terms of like their way of thinking and being open to shifting their way of thinking page of wands yeah they're ready for this new beginning with you a fire beginning fiery passionate passionate beginning with you virgo other cards are all just talking about we're just tapping into someone that just sees such a huge future um with you virgo knight of cups comes in for them virgo <laughs> Yeah, this person's coming in. I can't make this up. It's crazy how all these earth signs got the same kind of message, similar in terms of someone pursuing them, all in different ways with different cards. It's so interesting. So let's pull this Four of Pentacles energy now. See what clarifiers that we can get for that. Mm -mm. Oh, cards are already coming out. All right, back of the deck energy is that six of pentacles. So this is definitely going to be, you know, um, communication happening on both sides. This is an energy of balance. Again, um, balance keeps following you, um, Virgo. But this is definitely where it's like maybe um, before there wasn't too much communication. There was maybe feeling like it was one-sided, perhaps. This is definitely in terms of this connection, like, communication is going to feel a little bit more equal this week i feel there's not going to be as much um resistance 
I feel, or is people being closed off. Unless you're choosing to be closed off, I guess. Nine of Cups comes into this. So it does let me know that you both kind of associate each other for your happiness, right? You're both probably able to acknowledge, maybe even willing to admit it, Virgo, that you associate your happiness with them. And it's not a bad thing, right? It's not a bad thing whatsoever. The Moon card. This is definitely, yeah, something's going on. Virgo, get ready, because I do feel like this this is going to catch you off guard. Um, I definitely don't see you anticipating this. It may not happen this week, but especially with this Moon card, this is probably a little bit more of a journey that they have to take, right? To reveal their emotions towards you. Virgo, but I do see it happening. I really do see it happening. We have this Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, I just see y'all are in it for the long call. Y'all are that your y'all story isn't done. Uh, Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> yeah, the communication is going to be extended out, um, and you're not going to anticipate it, and it's going to really throw you in for a loop. It's really going to have you on guard. Like, that's the only thing I can keep on getting is, like, you're just on guard when it comes to this, Virgo. I don't know what happened, if there is anything that happened in relation to this. Maybe it's separate, but closing it off the lovers. <laughs> Virgo, come on now. Like, I wish I was saying I was making this up because I know it just seems like such a corny, cheesy reading, but this is such a beautiful reading, right? Close, do we even need to get into this? There's definitely a soul connection here. There's definitely some depth here. There we go. It's why that they're coming back. They are able to recognize it. And you probably are recognize it as well. Because just even, yeah. It's the reading that I have for you, Virgo. If you enjoyed this reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, and then share my videos with a friend if you think they might be into my messages. Until next time, though, Virgo, I love you so much.